Hello. Hello and welcome to our channel and um, this is our first video that we've yeah, done right. so we thought we'd do some introductions today and um, we're going to be vlogging our Florida honeymoon so we thought we'd let you know who we are first. Who are you? I'm Liam <laughs> and this is my husband Rob. How are you doing? We are Whistle Value Vlog. It's our first real well, go. We, yeah we did it once before in Paris and we had a bit of a malfunction. Lost all the footage. Oh, so, you lost the footage. Yeah I did. This time I'll be backing things up so we are going to pop you do it this time. So better quality than the last one. And so if anyone has actually seen that relic of an old one, um, we're sorry. <laughs> so we thought we'd introduce ourselves in a way that get to know us a little bit more what we're excited to buy because it is our first time in florida we've never been before so we thought we'd do a bit of a bucket list today a bucket list a bucket list what's a bucket list so we decided to do four things that we're excited for in each park so we've decided on ride character experience snack snack i'm good at this aren't i <laughs> and meal so we thought we'd go through what each of us are excited for but we don't know each other's lists i've completely prepared for this and i'm not the whole not. <laughs> so you'll notice throughout the whole of our vlogs liana will have everything planned and i will just be doing it at the spur of the moment if i see a queue where it's not very busy i'll be on it i'll just grab a treat that i want liana's got everything down uh, she's got her outfit sorted <laughs> everything she's 14 kilos at the moment yeah, I need to edit down because we've only got 20 coming back. So all those goodies that we're hopefully going to bring back. All the Halloween candy. Yeah, from the Halloween party. So, so what park do you want to start off with? Um, should we do Epcot first because we're starting off at Epcot? Yes. Yeah. We wanted to do Magic Kingdom on our first night, but there was a Halloween party on the first night. So we are having our first night at Epcot, which we're very excited about. Yeah. So if we start off with... Ride. ride what ride are you most excited for in Epcot you need to ask me this question is imagination with figment because figment is life <laughs> i just want to get the song stuck in my head we went when we go to paris i made this one go on so it's a small world about Two seven eight times. times just to get the song stuck in our head so this time i'm going to do with figment and get it stuck in the head how about yourself mine is frozen um, <laughs> he hates Frozen. <laughs> I'm one of these. I'm not on the Frozen hype. I think I like Sven. I like Marshmallow. Olaf's all right, but it's more Josh Gad than anything else. Yeah. But I think as a story, it's not my cup of tea. Reason I'm excited for Frozen is I love water rides. Um, yeah, I know it's only a little boat ride and it's not got any mass drops or anything like that in it, but I really like boat rides. I and the animatronics it. are supposed to be amazing. I believe the animatronics are throughout this world, but being back Maelstrom. That's what I say. You never even went on me. <laughs> but it reminds me of Falhalla. So, um, what character experience are you most um, excited for? For me, it's Baymax. And so I'm a big Baymax fan anyway. And I just want to get a big snuggle. Fist bump as well. How about yourself? Do you need to ask me that question? Snow? Mexican Donald. Mexican Donald? Mexican Donald. No Snow White? No. Because Mexican Donald's in a sombrero hat. And he looks so cute. I really want to meet him. Donald's my face. It's just Donald in a hat. No, it's not. It's Mexican Donald. <laughs> Mexican Donald. Mexican Donald in the Mexico Pavilion. And I really want to go on three copy hours. So. Next Maybe. one. Next one. What is your snack? My snack. Oh, all of food and wine. No, that's, that's a cop out. <laughs> that is a cop out. Um, can I choose something from food and wine? Yeah, you can choose something from food and wine, but you just can't do food and wine. That's a cop out. <laughs> the whole of food and wine as an entity. That's like me. Uh, what wine are you looking forward to the most? Every ride at Disney. Okay. Um, food and wine, there is like a spinach and artichoke dip from the almond orchard, I think it is. Um, and it's got pulled chicken in it and it looks really good. And I think that's my yeah. snack. Yeah. See, I'm tied between two, both in the Canadian Pavilion. It's the filet mignon. Okay. Or there's the cheese soup. Yeah, it's really good. See, cheese is just cheese life. Is life. That's it. <laughs> Anything with cheese, and I'm I'm all there. I'm all over it. And also but, filet mignon. Just to throw it out there as well, D 
the uh, the drink and light lava. I can't remember what it's called. It's the one that glows. Only supposed want... to choose one thing. Can I not be greedy? You wanted to choose a whole of food <laughs> and wine. I'm sure I can choose more than one. Anyway, what was the last one? Restaurants. Restaurants. Restaurant, yeah. So my restaurant is Akashos. Is one that I'm most excited for because it's the only one that we have booked where you get to meet the princesses. And although I chose Mexican Donald for my character, I love Snow White. And it's an opportunity to, to meet her. Plus the food looks really, really yummy. I'm interested in the Norwegian, but apart from they had the uh, mixed grill and they put fish on it and I can't eat fish. So this one that's that open her eyes. She's to eat fish. This one's opened her eyes to it all. Right. What's yours? Um, I'm going to go for Tepanito. Oh! So just for the whole um, the show that comes with it as well, the chefs. Like we have similarish things over here in Chester, but nothing to that scale. No, nothing so to the same. It's going to be quite intense. Plus, I like meat. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's Epcot done. Epcot done. So let's go. Let's go for the OG one now. Let's go for. Let's go Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. The one that we're most excited for. So if we start off with Ride again. Ride. Mm. See, this is the harder one, Magic Kingdom. I'm going to say it's a small world. No, I'm joking. I'm not really. <laughs> I'm going to go for... Mm. See, I want to say Space Mountain, but obviously it's a whole different experience than the one at Paris. So I'm a moment of gnawing on this one. Um, I'm going to go for Mine Train, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. <gasps> That's mine. I That's thought, mine. I thought yours was going to be Splash Mountain. No, well, it's a close second, but it's such a different ride from the one in Paris. The one in Paris is like the scary adventures that they used to have in the Magic Kingdom, which we never got to go on because it's our first trip. So Mine Train is very, very different because it's got that roller coaster element to it's it. It's got so. swinging carriages as well. And it'd yes, be, yeah. It'd be pretty cool to see the recycled um, animatronics as well. So I'm looking forward to that yeah. one. That's mine. Oh, we agreed on something. Makes a change. Yay! <laughs> um, so, if we go on to character meet then in the Magic Kingdom. Ooh, character meet in the Magic Kingdom. I'll let you start this one off. Can we choose something from the Halloween party? No. 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 Um, character meet in the Magic Kingdom. So, I'm trying to think now. I'm stuck on this one. I'm gonna go Winnie the Pooh. Not Eeyore? I don't know if you get to meet Eeyore unless you go to some of the restaurants. So, I could be wrong. Tell me in the comments if I am wrong. But as far as I'm aware, by his ride you can meet Winnie and Tigger. So Winnie the Pooh. We recently seen Christopher Robert and I loved it. And you he cried. gave me all the feels. I did cry a lot. About two minutes in she cried. I'm gonna go. I'm I'm not too sure with their Magic Kingdom. I can't really think of the top of my head. I was going to go with Talking Mickey, but it's now not Talking Mickey. I know. And say everything that we wanted to do and no Talking Mickey. Hmm. We're back. <laughs> and who else is it? And they say Captain Hook about, or is it just Peter Pan? I think Captain Hook. Was there. I, like I think Captain Hook's with Shmi. I'd like to meet Captain Hook and Shmi, two for one. And they say, um, don't think, I was going to say actually, um, uh, the Red Lady, but I think that's just a California thing. Yeah, I think that's just Cali for now, yeah. yeah. But that'd be pretty cool. But no, uh, fill, as villains go, Captain Hook's a good one, and yeah. she's me, great sidekick. <laughs> and you might see me dressed up as me as well for not so scary if you're lucky. If he doesn't change his mind again. Again. Be <laughs> this is a fourth costume choice. Be fourth costume. No, oh, third, fourth? third. Third. So okay. There's launch pad, wasn't there as well? Oh, yeah. So and the next then. is snack. Where's oh, Crispy Treat? Rice Krispie Classic treat. Rice Krispie rice, Treat. Classic Rice Krispie Treat. Tweet? Tweet? <laughs> rice Krispie Treat. And the same. Um, I like my chocolate. I like my Rice Krispies. Put it together. Spot on. And say so yours going to be Dole Whip. Dole Whip. It's going to be Dole Whip. With a question. Dole Whip float. I have been waiting to try this for years until we could afford to go. And I can taste it already. I love pineapple. So. No such as well. I, oh no, I want to try that too, but my, the number one I'm looking forward to trying is Dole Whip. Dole Whip? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> and finally, restaurant. Tea tree trap, tavern. Yeah, same. Need. Yeah, I agree. The, the, the thought of that Thanksgiving dinner. dinner. It's literally, and the mac and cheese on the side as well. 
There's mac and cheese. And gooey, gooey toffee dessert. Mm, I love toffee. <laughs> I love it. I, love I can't it. wait to try it, but just show you how and I think it's going to be insane. It'd be so cool. Also, a shout out at, um, for the Tiki Rooms as well. Uh, is that Animal Kingdom? I want to do it. No, it's no, it's not. It's in Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. I want to do a Tiki Rooms, but it's not a ride. No, it's an attraction. Yeah, so I need to do, do a little show because I'm excited for it. <laughs> And they say, I'll be there like five times a day. So watch out. If you're into your tiki room, you'll be salted. <laughs> Let's watch out lot for tiki room madness. So on to Animal Kingdom. The next one is Animal Kingdom. So I bet that's the one you're most excited about, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I can't wait. So any reason why? Or... I think because with like Magic Kingdom and that, we've been to something similar in Paris, but Animal Kingdom's completely brand new for us. Yeah, it's like animals. I'm just excited yeah. to see the animals. <laughs> So I think we've got about two safaris, three safaris booked in. I think two. So but day, at day and, and night time, yeah. So what's the ride you're most excited about? It's actually dinosaur. Why dinosaur? Because I'm just really excited for it. I love dinosaurs and it's it seems like a really different ride structure than what I've been on before. So I think it'd be really good. You just want to get it done before they change it over. If they change it over, please don't change it. I love dinosaur. <laughs> it's kind of mine. So I'm, I'm excited for an Indiana Jones ride, especially if it's like the one in Tokyo. Is it Tokyo? Or, uh, California. California. But then there's one in Tokyo as well. Oh yeah, I think well. there is actually, yeah. Yeah. So mine is Expedition Everest. And say Adrenaline Junkie. <laughs> I'm excited to see the Yeti in versus Disco Yeti. I'm also excited to go backwards on the ride. That's what you're a little bit more nervous about. I'm not the best with rides. You'll see in the upcoming vlogs, I am a bit of a nervous wreck when it comes to anything that is not like a mind train. Um, <laughs> so I'm a little bit scared, but I will be going on it. And I just have to psych myself up for it. And I'm just that idiot who puts his arms off on every ride. Even a kiddie coaster, her arms are in the air like this, waving around. And they say, I'm really excited. So, character meet, what are you going for? My character meet that I'm most excited for is Scrooge McDuck. Oh, mine's quite similar. Who's yours? Launchpad. Yay! <laughs> so we're going all ducktails, but also I'm quite excited to meet Chip and Dale and the dinosaurs. Yeah, and, they're and so dance cute. around with them, they're really cute. But no, the same. Same area. Same area, so launch... Dinorama, isn't it? That's it. So Launchpad would be pretty cool to meet Scrooge as well. Maybe he'll give us some pennies towards our vlogging, <laughs> if we're lucky. And they say, oh, so it's quite a few in the Animal Kingdom, that's quite good. I yeah. believe Tarzan's quite immersive. Like, yeah. I believe uh, someone has a little bit of a crush on Tarzan. He's really fit. <laughs> and they say they got rid of Flick now, haven't they? Yeah. And they say that would have been pretty cool that to do. Cool. But then moving on to, we'll do restaurant. Let's, let's just uh, mix and match here. Restaurant. Restaurant first. Tusker House. Tusker House, same here. <laughs> that's the one we didn't think about, the character meet. Safari Donald. So far, well, it's kind of been the restaurant, isn't it? Yeah, so it's so a party experience, but... You can kind of get away with listing both of them. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm excited for Tusk House. I'm excited to try some different things for breakfast as well. I'm just excited about meeting Safari Donald. Just Donald. Nothing else. Say so someone else is... Sorry, it's our house. cat. <laughs> Let's see. We've got another one. She won't be Hi. coming, unfortunately, this one. But she could be a part of the vlogging family as well. Hi! Yeah. She isn't interested. No, she doesn't care. So yeah, <laughs> Tusker House, we've got booked for breakfast. So I cannot wait for that. And we're going to try and get early on to into Pandora after that. But we do have a few fast passes for... Flight passage? Yeah. You've got, you got three. Three. <laughs> and same so saying, oh, flight passage, you're, get, you're lucky if you get one. we got three. I think it's all the biscuits a little bit with that one. No. Just that I'm really organised. You are. And they say we're all straight on it and say... 12 o'clock straight on it. We recommend you just do the fast passes as soon as available. Yeah, yeah definitely. less stress. It was the same with the uh, reservations as well, the dining reservations. It was nice and easy. Yeah. Then you don't have to worry about it. And just worry how you're going to flog. <laughs> and finally, snack. So my snack is the pulled pork and cheese fries at Flame Tree Barbecue. Oh yeah, you keep going on about this one and this thing. They look really, really good. And I've heard really good things about them from other vloggers that I watch, so yeah. See, mine originally was the um, the curry pods from Centuri uh, Canteen, but they got rid of them. It's not a snack. No. Oh. Oh, it's a meal. A meal's a snack. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey's not a snack, but you still call it both oh, snack. But no, so I'm not too sure. I'd say the... Um, the chicken fried rice from Yak and Yeti. Um, mm. I've heard it has got small in portion size, so 
We were meant to be shared. I think we're still going to share, aren't we? Yeah. Um, but, um, so, get last of the Disney parks, Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios. So, my ride, believe it or not, is Hollywood Tower of Terror. I'm going to say, I've never done it. Even when we went to Paris, I wasn't too keen on queuing up, especially because this one wasn't too um, interesting going. Fortunately, someone made a bit of a silly little promise that if I did the ghost train of Black Books, I'm terrified of ghost train shooting. Do not only Tower of Terror, <laughs> But also rock and roller, <laughs> two for one. But everyone says really good stuff about them, but I'm just a massive wimp, so I am really scared to do it. But I'm going to try. But I'm not excited about them, not at all. And say I'm excited for the theme as well. The theme is meant to be. Unreal. Yeah, that's the only reason I want to do them because the theme is supposed to be really good. Um, mine is actually Slinky Dog Dash. Slinky Dog. Yeah. Is it Which be is more? ironic because I don't really like Toy Story. Mm. I know people are going to hate me for saying that, but it, it terrified me as a child. I'm going to say, but, I said that they're like frozen so they can come at us. <laughs> hate is going to Come hate. at us. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it looks really fun. It, it's brand new and we've managed to get a fast pass for it, so. And it's a kiddie coaster, so I'm going to put my arms in the air. <laughs> so we do uh, character meets now? Character meets at Hollywood Studios. The one I'm most excited for is Chewbacca. I want to be good Not BB-8. No, because it's not as interactive. And the back no, is going to give me a big cuddle. And there's no baby Groot anymore. No, they're taking it and away the at the end of the month, and we Just literally go the we week go, after. Yeah. It's gutted. So. But um, yeah, it is Chewbacca for me. So mine is Caloran. Ooh. I'm gonna say the dark side. The dark side. I'm gonna just because I've heard he's quite ominous. He's quite um. You go in there, he just doesn't interact with you at all. It's a bit nerve wracking. I might gonna... pledge my allegiance. You're a rebel scum. <laughs> I'm gonna say, once let's again, do... let's do snacks. <laughs> so, what snack are you looking forward to, Liani? Mine's the carrot cake cookie. Mine too. Really? Really? Yeah, it mm. looks really good. I'm gonna say, I believe, as someone told me, someone being you, uh, more frosting, less cake? Or is it the other way around? No, more cake, less frosting. Really? Yeah. Frosting's always the best bit? It is, but it still looks really, really good but they have changed the recipe a little bit, apparently. Mm. But we never tried it before, no, that's so it. We haven't to we're go not on. gonna miss anything that we haven't tried before. No, that's it. And then the last one for Hollywood Studios then is restaurant. Restaurant. Which restaurant experience are you most excited Sci-fi. Sci-fi diner. Just to see the uh, snippets of all the, um, the 1950s sci-fi and B-movies, that's my forte. When it's not Disney, it's all about sci-fi. And burgers, chips, ribs. I'd be in the element. It's where you tell me it's not in Hollywood Studios now, isn't it? It is. Yes! <laughs> One point to me. Mine is 50s Primetime Cafe. I am very much into my 1950s style and dresses and victory rolls and the whole sort of 50s feel. So I am very excited to go to the Primetime Cafe. Plus the fried chicken looks amazing. So um, outside of Disney then, we are also spending about three days at Universal. Um, we are both quite big Harry Potter fans. I'm a massive Harry Potter fan. More you like Disney it. Sometimes I think Harry Potter. I don't know. We're pretty equal on Disney and Harry Potter, but I am borderline obsessed with it. So we thought to do our Universal bucket list as well. Put it all into one, so we're all not going to split one. it into yeah. two, it's going to be just universal, not universal and Anne's adventure yeah. because it's um, not as much in those two, whereas like, you could put those two into like probably Magic Kingdom in the same size. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, Obviously, we'll see. Um, ride that I'm most looking forward to in Universal Orlando is Escape from Gringotts. Yeah? yeah? Just because it's Harry Potter themed or? It's Harry Potter themed and from what I can see, you see a lot of the characters, you see he who should not be named and it just looks absolutely amazing. So yeah, that'd be really awesome. For me, I'm going to say, I don't think it's a surprise actually, but it's uh, Jurassic Park. Yeah. Fingers crossed because yesterday I believe the T-Rex got taken out from Aitland, so fingers yeah. crossed and touch wood. That uh, when we go, he's going to be back then. Hopefully. So, so it'd be exciting to see the rest of the animatronics, but the T Rex is there. That's the 
be all and end all yeah. for Jurassic Park. Definitely, yeah. And they say otherwise, you're going on a prehistoric um, river cruise, basically, would say. Yeah, which is still cool, but we want to see the T-Rex. <laughs> we want the T-Rex. <laughs> Um, character experience. See so this one, I don't know if you can class it a character experience, but it's um, and it's gonna have to put it into two just together because they are both similar. It's um, Optimus Prime, Megatron. Yeah, meeting the Transformers. Transformers. So they, the the um, the the like not even the electronics, but all of the uh, technology has gone behind them. It's absolutely amazing. There's no that like, it's not an actual just like a person in a costume or the person dressed yeah. up. There's actually someone controlling it. Mine's actually similar but different. Mine is the Velociraptors at Jurassic Park. There's Velociraptors? There's Velociraptors. Why well, you never tell me that? They jump out at you. Well, <laughs> we have a T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the Velociraptors are what I'm excited for. And to meet them, that'd be really cool. And, so, and our nephew is really into Jurassic yeah, Park and the dinosaurs, so we want to show him the video. Should we move on thing. to snack? Yes. Well, my snack is kind of a drink. Butterbeer. Butterbeer. Insane. Butterbeer. We tried it in the studio tour in London and it was really, really nice. But I want to try the frozen butterbeer in Florida. That'd be quite nice, especially in the heat as yes. well. And say, yeah. With how warm it's going to be. Mine is the giant donut. The same with oh, big the Simpsons, Simpsons donut. And say, I've heard it's better than any other donut you'll ever have. Even Fudu donuts, which Ooh. I'm excited for as well. Yeah, I'm excited for them. Especially for the Fudu donut person itself with the jam fillings. And say, so seeing that on Man vs. Food ever since then. Oh, yeah, one. years ago we've seen that, didn't That's we? Since. So we've seen that when we first got together. Yeah. And there's, say, uh, back in those days when I had back less of a beard. <laughs> and more hair. <laughs> you said we're bald. Yeah. Cheeky. <laughs> and the last thing then is meal or restaurant in Universal and mine is the Leaky Cauldron and um, again as you can tell Harry it's Potter part everything yeah um, apart from the last one <laughs> um, but if it could meet Voldemort then you know I'd be there and <laughs> um, so mine is the Leaky Cauldron and um, it's got the more authentic food I think than looking at the menu of the three broomsticks and that's sort of really yeah. immersive. Three broomsticks put like salad with like your fish and chips as well. But they have like chicken and ribs and yeah, things that's like it. that. Whereas um, the Leaky Cauldron seems to be stuff like cottage pies and fish fishman pies and you want, authentic a British food. So there's a duo of pies now that you really want yes. as well. Yeah. So me going to Simpsons again, going to Krusty Burger. <laughs> I'm tied between either the clogger or the rib sandwich, so if anyone's had either of them and you want to give yeah. us a little bit of a heads up and Give them a recommendation Either I'm going to have end up with both and Bumble Bean Man tacos as yeah. well Yeah, on the got side my <laughs> You're just going to see a whole table full of food everything apart from anything from the Frying Dutchman and I will be coming back about 10 stones heavier <laughs> So, that's everything isn't it? Oh wait, I've got one more surprise that you weren't prepared for Right, okay uh, So we are doing um, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party and obviously with that we get a chance to meet a couple of other characters oh, and okay. a few different overlays as actually some other snacks well there's no restaurants so we're not eating apart from no, the candy No, yeah, we're eating before we get there mm, say so. I think we've got sci-fi that day Yeah, we have got sci-fi that day So we'll start off with probably, let's do the character meet Okay even though I know what this one is already. I don't even need to think about it, Seven Dwarfs. And say, you've been going about Seven Dwarfs, see if we don't have enough. Hey, Dopey. And they say, Dopey, just get in on the action <laughs> there. And say, even if we meet two characters that evening, I know you said you've just got to go, go for the Dwarfs, but yeah. I'm going to go for Elvis Stitch. I was tempted to go meet Moana, but Stitch is my bae. If we have time, we want to meet, but we kn quite a few of them, but we know it's going to be really really busy so so we're just going with we chose one each that we wanted to definitely meet yeah and so it'd be cool to meet jack and sally but it'd be awesome to meet jack and sally i don't think i want to wait about three hours in the queue just to meet maybe them. when other people are watching the parades we can sneak, Probably sneak in over yeah. there that's right and uh rides do the overlay rides so you've okay. only got the three to choose from the teacups you've got pirates and you've also got space mountain and i know it's not gonna be space mountain because you're nervous enough to do it with the lights on <laughs> um I'm gonna say pirates and gunpowder peat. Can you say we're a pirate please? Arr. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, um, the search for gunpowder peat. I think it'd be really cool to have 
live actors in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, which we always loved in Paris. So, That's it. yeah. Even though we don't sit next to each other. No, just get we want to get splashed. You want to be a smile. Face mountain, yeah. yeah and I knew and it say, would be. So I feel like it'll add an extra dimension doing it in the dark and say so you have nothing that takes the reference plus a heavy metal soundtrack so it's pretty awesome where's the teacups the teacups is the teacups I still am looking I'm, forward yeah. to it like we will be doing it but well, if it. I had to choose between it and pirates it would be pirates and finally let's do a snack okay there's so many that I want that not so scary. They're all pumpkin related as well. Pumpkin. Well, the one I've chosen isn't actually pumpkin what? related. The doom buggy That's cream mine. puff. That's what I want. Really? I do, and I want to get the pop to go with it as well. Oh. Yeah, the Haunted Mansion doom buggy cream puff. But if I was to choose second one, it would be the pumpkin cheesecake. Because I love pumpkin. pumpkin. Pumpkins all over. Pumpkin so spices life. The amount of stuff she's going to be about that's pumpkin related <laughs> is going to be ridiculous. That's why she needs to empty her bag. <laughs> so she's been pricing up as well um, how much she has to get the extra baggage on. Just yeah, in I case am worried we about it. it. And the candy from Not So Scary alone. <laughs> so didn't someone come back like a kilo worth of candy? No, like six kilos. Six kilos, <laughs> bloody hell. Yeah. You're screwed. <laughs> yeah, sorry, we'll get an extra bag at Target. We'll be fine. I say, I don't think I've got anything else to say. I mean, we're no. all good and done. Just, if you've watched this, Thank you, we really appreciate it. Like I said, it's our first real go at doing this, so we know we're probably not... We're not Tim Tracker, let's put it that way. We're not Tim Tracker, we're not Ali Stedman. Gold. <laughs> well, thank you very much for watching. If you thank did enjoy you. the video, give it a good old thumbs up, and also subscribe to the yes, channel, please. just to see what happens on our honeymoon, and see if we make it back through the airport <laughs> without um, losing anything in our bags. And also, if you have any real tips, things that you would say we need to add on to our bucket list please leave a comment below because like i said it is our first time so we really appreciate any sort of advice that people can yeah. give us thank you very much thank you peace out